Welcome back to another video. We are doing Explorer today. This is Absent Greasefang, a new brew I found on the internet. Um, yeah, you can always go on uh, various websites like MTG Zone or MTG Goldfish. Look for decks there, and sometimes you find a gem like Absent Greasefang. This deck um, got popularized on Magic Online in Pioneer. Uh, we've seen various versions of this deck already in the past. Um, none of them really caught my eye, but this one apparently, word is going around, has some potential. So we know Esper Grease Fang, right, where you have Rafine and Ledger Shredder to then get um, Pahelion Grease Fang combo going. We have Madu Grease Fang, very popular in the past, with um, Fable of the Mirror Breaker, Blood Tithe Harvester, and so on. And here we have. Absan Grease Fang. What are we getting in Absan? Absan is essentially a mill deck. We have Mulch, we have Grizzly Salvage, and we have Witherbloom Command to mill the living heck out of our out of our graveyard. And um, yeah, to, to then basically mill Grease Fang, as you can show it, or Pahelion, and also perhaps can't stay away to flashback. Like basically this deck can totally operate out of its graveyard. If you just take the top half of your deck, put it in the bin, then you should have can't stay away for Grease Fang, and then you can return the, the vehicles and smash. <clears throat> Azika's Chariot is the big inclusion that, uh, yeah, that Absan gets. It's just a very, very strong card in, it, card in itself that is also a vehicle and works with Grease Fang, can be crewed by Grease Fang as well with the four power, and um, yeah, just do some serious damage. I mean, it is already quite strong if you play Grease Fang on turn three, get the Chariot back, crew the Chariot, attack, then you have three cat tokens, the opponent just took four damage, and you just return a Chariot to your hand, which you can just play on turn four on the next turn, which will result in you having five cats and, and the Grease Fang. So that game plan in itself is quite strong. And I think that was that's that's the appeal in Absent is the is the chariot to have that additional vehicle that additional consistency, and if things go sideways and your opponent has I don't know rest in peace and you don't have a Wither Bloom command to answer it, you can just hard cast chariot and go to town. Some decks have a tough time beating this card, especially Ragdos mid range. Absolutely hates chariot. They always want a one for one with with like removal. But if you play like Chariot, you have two cats they have to deal with, you have a 4-4 four, four vehicle they have to deal with, so it's super annoying for Rakdos midrange. And yeah, the rest of the deck, the usual suspects, Stitcher Suppliers, Rafines and Formant, and Fawncees of course to disrupt the opponent. We got some one-offs here with Sorin Vengeful Bloodlord to return the Grease Fang or give your things lifelink. And uh, one old Rootstein which mills, can be returned with Can't Stay Away, gives you another it's not an amazing card, but a decent creature that does a little bit here and there um, to to return it with Can't Stay Away if you're just playing a fair game or, or need some sort of card to get going. Yep, that is the main deck. And here in the sideboard we have Duresses, Fader Pushes, good interaction spells. I mean, we all know Fader Push, how amazing it is. And then we have one Noxious Cast, one Devout Decree as another removal fracture to blow up Grafdigger's Cages, um, to blow up various, yeah, graveyard, Unlicensed Hearse, various Graveyard Exiling shenanigans. And then we have Unlicensed Hearse and Graveyard Trespass ourselves to mess with the opposing graveyards. And one Sky Sovereign, if you want to play against a creature deck, might be nice to bring in this Sky Sovereign and get him that way. And yeah, the two Fractures, you might say, is a little bit too low on interaction for graveyard shenanigans, but with Witherbloom Command, we do have the effect of destroying a non-creature, non-land permanent with mana value 2 or less. And that basically includes Unlicensed hers, includes uh, Rest in Peace, Grafdigger's Cage. Most of the graveyard removal is just dealt with with Witherbloom Command, and which is really, really good, because Witherbloom Command is also just an enabler for your own strategy by milling yourself. So this card is quite important for the deck. Versatile, does a lot of things. And um, finally see some constructed play. Because Witherbloom Command is one of the commands that, I don't know, on the surface at the beginning, 
when I first saw the card in Spoiler Season, I was like, wow, this card is impressive. So many little things. Nothing's like crazy good, but you can choose two and it only costs two mana. Um, nonetheless, it hasn't really made a huge splash. So we'll see how it plays out here. And uh, I think with that, we're ready to dive into some games. You guys wanted some Explorer action? Here we have it. Um, uh, okay, my doorbell is ringing. I'll be right back. Alright, first match going here. I had a little disruption, but uh, I'm back. We lost the die roll, and this hand, I mean, we have maybe put a creature or land card from among them. We have ways to find ourselves. Um, yeah. Lance and Greasefang. We have Fortsies. I think it's Giganta. Alright, Black Red Sacrifice, I presume. Um, what do I want to proceed? Stitcher? I think Stitcher first. Wow. That's pretty good. <laughs> that is quite good. Okay, that means we can... If we find a white source... We can next turn, can stay away a Grease Fang and get the Cherry into play. Yeah, I have four cards. I mean, Fortsies might be a thing, but. Uh, sorry, Mayhem Devil. Fortseizing a Mayhem Devil might be a thing, but I really just want to do my own game plan here. Don't fall seas, just Grizzly Salvage. And, um. Yeah. Get. Get my opponent with the Chariot next turn. Certainly happy to mill three more cards. But Helion would be the better return than Chariot. Okay. Fable, sure. Alright. Okay, let's just junt. I mean, yeah, this is this is ridiculous. Of course, Stitcher turn one, Grissy Savage turn two, turn three, Grease Fang, enabled by Can't Stay Away. Okay, yeah, I mean, you certainly you have four Grease Fangs, right? You gotta find those to actually do your thing. But between can stay away and you milling your own cards and then returning it that way uh, with can stay away or just drawing your own Grease Fang, you have a lot of um, ways to find it. Grizzly Salvage also puts a creature into your hand. So, yeah, Grizzly Salvage is huge for this deck. I mean, mill five and then you can put a Grease Fang into your hand. That's really, really good. Okay. What are we doing here? I don't think I want to change much. Maybe Fracture. Um, this is a weird list. Like, I didn't... Like, Unlucky Witness and Epicure, but still Corvold. It's very low to the ground. Maybe plays Anvil. Um, Witterbloom Command is, like, one of my best cards in the matchup. I'm not the biggest fan of Fortsies. I think I would just want to have the Vault Decree. And maybe... Couple fractures. Maybe like one Fortsies, one Fatal Push. Maybe one Fortsies. Maybe cut a Sorin for another Fortsies. Or the Rutschstein. Yeah, Rutschstein. I just don't. I mean, Corvold is an issue, I guess. Alright. So we have like two Fortsies, one Devout Degree for Corvold. 
Maybe I should just... Maybe Fawncy is too strong. Even better than something like Fracture. Because in the end, Fawncy can also just take the problematic card. Mulch is certainly one of the worst cards in the deck. But... Yeah, I, I, I don't know if there's anything better. Destroy... No three. In Pioneer, you have Seda Wayfinder. But not an Explorer yet. We have Explorer Anthology coming out soon. So hopefully we get it there. There's a Chariot. Nice. So here we go again. Grease Fang Chariot. Really good. I guess what this deck doesn't do, it doesn't discard um, the card you had. Like, the, the, I can't easily discard my chariot now. I guess I can force it myself. Huh? Yeah, I guess I can do that. Yeah. <laughs> guess that's my way to discard it, huh? Let's see, salvage. Alright, let's do Grizzly Salvage. Stitcher Supplier or lands. Um, Stitcher can find me more stuff. But I, I think I'm just going to take the Blooming Marsh. Fortsies myself. I mean, this, is, this deck is powerful. Like, we're doing really crazy things here. I mean, can I just do this? Yeah, I think so. Smash everybody. I can I can trade my Grease Fang, that's no problem. They need a Meat Hook Massacre. And if they have one, I still have Chariot and, and a full hand. They discard a hearse. <laughs> Return your Gunter? Okay. This deals two drain, so if they're not careful, they just die. Hmm. I guess I'll start with Mulch. Or I could just Wither Bloom Command drain them too. And Mill, that seems good too. All right, there's the chariot, so I can stay away from my grease fang. The fader push or something? Wow, this was impressive. This was impressive. I <clears throat> I guess if you let this deck do its thing. Nothing, not much stands in its way, huh? And it's, it seems really consistent. Uh, I guess that's the unfortunate part when you draw Pahelion. Do I do this or do I do that? Uh, this will find me a land, likely. I mean, likely is maybe an overstatement.
Yeah, that, that's the awkward part, drawing the things. Drain and Milfrey. Playing against Saga of Triumph. Hmm. Now we didn't even hit a land. But that was just straight card advantage. And I don't have a Willabloom command. So what am I doing? I guess I'm I guess I have Rafines and Formant, huh? That's my way to discard and force these. So I guess I'm just returning Rafines and Formant here. Just go to beatdown route, discard this by Helion. And now well yeah. We have two can stay away left. If we draw a Grease Fang, we're good. Risen Reef, wow. Hmm, okay. Well, my mulligan decision really didn't pan out. Where I, uh, I sh could have bottomed the swamp and kept another Wither Bloom command. Would have been great here. Against this Risen Reef. Trial of Ambition. <laughs> okay. Let's find a Grease Fang. Come on. Woodstein. Damn it. Another trial. Funny. What is happening to me? Blood Crypt and Risen Reef plus Trial of Ambitions. I would have not expected that. Alright, what are we returning? Stitcher or Rutschstein? Stitcher just milled so much more. If a land card is milled, I get a treasure. Creature is milled, I get a 1 1. If a non creature, non land card is milled, I get a blood. Blood is pretty good here with my overground tombs. I'll just get the rich dine. Another creature. By the way, if you don't hear the sound, the arena sound is just totally bugged right now. Unfortunately. Urban Utopia. <laughs> Come on. Nothing. But a blood. And so we just discard this tomb. Right. Before we do anything else. Yeah. What's these? What's these? I guess I'll fire it off. Ay ay ay. Yarod the Desecrated. If a permanent entering the battlefield causes a triggered ability of permanent you control trigger. Uh, okay. Yorian in hand. I guess I'll take the Yorian. I could also take the Omnath. So I'm going to put my opponent down to 8 life, they go up to 12, and then I attack for 13 in the air. Just take the Yorian, I think. Smash. And now, return a Stitcher, and just hope to finally hit a Grease Fang. Come on! Damn it. Almost half the deck. We're supposed to, on average, have found two of them already. Yeah, rock the deck. Like, my opponent's deck is completely crazy. I don't know what's happening. Come on. Okay, now we gotta find it. Now we gotta find it. Yes. That's lethal. This doesn't do anything. Death Touch Lifelink. Sweet. Took a while. But here, here we are. Opponent's deck just a little too slow. No graveyard shenanigans. Okay. Um, yeah. So we're playing against five color Risen Reef shenanigans. 
and the five color elementals. I mean, it's just a wild one. Uh, I could play Noxious Grasp, I could play the Rest, Fracture. What could they have? I mean, Rest in Peace, maybe? Unlicensed Hers, probably. I should play one Noxious Grasp. Sky Sovereign. Play mulch. I think mulch is like the worst of the enablers, so you can bin that one. Um, uh, not bin it. <laughs> well, you're binning cards with it, but <laughs> side put it out if you're like unsure what to, what to do. All right. Archon. Oh, this Exalt's Graveyard. Fires of Intervention, that makes sense. That seems very good in that deck. Um, damn, the hand is pretty good. They have four colors of mana. The Archon, they cannot cast really easily, but they can cast it with fires. I think I'll just take the fires. And then I'll play Rafine's Formant, bin the chariot, and then they probably respond with Colors Blood Mage. Exiling the graveyard. And then we can Rafine's Informant the Pavian later on. I could also hard cast Chariot on turn 3 and bin the Pahelion here. I wonder if my hardcast chariot will get there. I'm not sure. Maybe, uh, maybe that was not so smart. Like if they find double white, I won't be able to beat this archon with a chariot. I just won't. The archon will just beat me. They play Blood Mage, Exile the Graveyard. They can flicker the Blood Mage and Exile over and over again, but I will kill the Blood Mage. No free. I think I'll just yeah, I'll just attack. I think they won't block, right? They will block. That's surprising. I would not have expected that. Oldridge Dine. Stitcher. I think I'll just... Hmm. I should have played the Temple Garden, yeah. And shock myself first. So I can play a Stitcher afterwards. That was a little bit of a punt. Mm. Yep, that was definitely a mistake. So I guess I'll just take a land here. Hmm. I'm not super happy with my play there. We found a Pahelion though, which is nice. Ah, that was that was the good one. 80 card deck, they found a the second one. Yeah, this card is super scary. Super, super scary. Okay, I guess I'm trying to hit the... Um, trying to hit Crease Fang here. Minus three and mill... Come on! Yes! Yes! Let's go! So that's 13 damage. 
Putting my opponent to free life. Nice. And we can Rafine's informant Apelian back into the graveyard. So if they have Archon and Yorian, that will make two 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 Pegasus with lifelink. This thing has lifelink too, and they have a four five flyer. Ah, yeah, yeah, this is gonna get complicated here. Um, so they essentially had a virtual 10 life because they can gain up to seven. They have four blockers, and I have five attackers. No, I have the crew here. Um, there are no more vehicles. Yeah, so the choice is easy though. I just have to do this. Discard the Pahelion. Okay. Now I can't stay away the Rutstein, for example. And then crew with the Rafinsen informant and Rutstein. Attack with Grease Fang as well. For more damage. I think that's a good idea. Um. And we get a blood token, that's nice. So go to combat. Crew of these two. Attack everybody. Block like this, sure. Block like this, jump, jump. Go to two life. Left with a Yorian. But they need a sweeper essentially here. Otherwise, yeah. Wait, what? What? Why did it die? Huh? Oh, first strike. Oh, oh, first strike damage. This thing has first strike. Are you kidding me? I didn't even know that. Why does. Okay. Oh, sorry about that. Um, oh, I didn't know that that's first strike. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> cool. Okay. Flying first strike vigilance. Why not? Um Okay. Well, this deck is impressive so far. Carry Gore. Alright. Sure. <clears throat> attack, not attack. Attack. Khan. Yep. Khan means I can't crew my stuff. That is quite annoying. <laughs> That's actually a hate piece against me. And Tomat script. Yeah, it's also quite good. I guess we gotta go the fair the fair route. Kill destroy. Destroy this, kill that. And then we gotta play chariot next turn, just make some kitties and hope that's that's good because we can't crew the vehicle. Just 
Stomper. Well, that's doing not much so far. I guess I should have played Sorin too and deal one damage to the Khan. I think the cats are a little better. What is this? Treasure Vault, okay. Vivian Reed, okay. Vivian Reed. Okay. It's just gonna die. No, no, I don't have enough power. Hmm. Cavalier of Thorns, okay. Another Pahelion. This Grizzly Salvage has to be good. There's a Grease Fang. Which I'm gonna take. Hmm. But no vehicle. Sadly. Okay. So, six there, three to the face. Make a cat. More ways to discard out of your hand would be nice. I wonder if there's like more knife creatures in Streets of New Capenna that you can play. Old Wutstein. I mean, if I hit a blood, I'm good to go, right? Then we can just discard a Pahelion and slam. Only has six lands, so the Stomper can't block yet. Come on. That's a land. That's a treasure. Damn it. Okay. So I just crew with the Grease Fang, I guess. And smash with everybody. Make a treasure? Should I make a treasure? Six, seven. Just hard cast by Helion next turn. If I draw a land, no, three, this costs eight, so I have to three, five, six, seven, eight. No, I mean, I draw one land, I'm good. Or a middle land, I'm good too. I can hard cast by Helion. Mm. Or I make a kitty. So they're going to block five, six here, and then I'm going to take seven, go to nine. If I just make a kitty, probably is. I think just going down, yeah, just making kitties is better, I think. Can't stay away. And it milled the chariot, so they blocked my stitcher. Nice. Okay, so we have two things to return with the Grease Fang now. Storm the festival, yikes. Stomper and the land, that's doable. Okay. Another treasure. Um. <clears throat> so I can get chariot. And then attack with the chair, with the chair, everything basically. I they block, 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 take seven. Block, 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 take seven. I can play Sorin. They take eight. Go to two, and I gain a bunch of life. I lose my oak Grease Fang, but I have a can't stay away, and I'm gonna have one kitty as a blocker. Otherwise, I can just hard cast Pahelion, not gain the life from Sorin. But I think that's a little risky. I can also return a Stitcher. Yeah, that, that makes the most sense, I think. And then we can hit Pahelion. We did not.
<clears throat> is this fine? I think so. Ugin would be a problem. Yeah, I mean, we might lose this game to an Ugin. And because we couldn't discard these Pahelians. So something with Connive, like more creatures of Connive, would really be appreciated. Rafines and Format is surely the best. Um, but maybe there's something in black. I'm just checking through the cards right now. There's Rafine's Silencer. Three mana creature of Connive. One's not completely unreasonable, but not very good either. So they just have a bunch of blockers? Well, that means they die. Right. That's just not enough. No lifelink. Yeah. So opponent's sort of playing Monogreen Devotion before Monogreen Devotion is legal. <laughs> We're gonna get the anthology set soon, so we'll have a good deck at some point in the future, likely. But so far it's not complete. Anyways, um Okay, th th this is the scary part. Khan, Thomas script. I definitely want the fractures. Fatal push and Oxus Grasp are reasonable. They play Fatal Push. Or just do rest for the Khan. Sky Sovereign for the Khan. Sounds like a good idea. Alright. Yeah, Molds, Rutstein, and Sorin are sort of the flag slots. You can sideboard those out. I guess Rotting Wretchosaur is another creature that can discard. But it needs a turn to untap and then it can discard, so that's not great. And you don't have any value if you do so. Let's see. I think I have to play Chariot though. Just gotta use my mana. Yeah, but the fair game plan likely won't work. Yeah, that thing is already going to lock up the ground. When it dies, you may exile it if you do put another target card from your graveyard on top of your library. Okay. And yeah, now I just don't really have any good attacks. 
I mean, I, I think, I think I'll just do this. It doesn't look fantastic, but I'll just play another chariot. Oh, really? Pond is very smart. That was a very smart play. That was a very smart play. But I mean, ultimately, yeah, doesn't change much. Oh my god. Um, both of those are pretty horrible for me. Not pretty horrible, but like both are sort of equally annoying. One ramps to storm, the other one ramps to storm as well. Both are four fours. One at I I guess the stop. No no no. Okay, I'm sorry. The stomper can't block. They only have four lands. No, never mind. Yeah, I just take the old control there. I guess they have three five five lands. Okay. <clears throat> So if I draw a Grease Fang, I can get the Pahelion back. Okay. That could be a Grease Fang. Nice. And double Stay Away. Cool. For whatever that's worth. So what are we doing? So they have two angels are attacking. They block Pahelion. They block Chariot. Vivian Reed. Stomper. Grease Fang. Just go everything face, right? Vivian Reed just doesn't really do anything here. Can maybe find a Khan, I guess. And then the Khan can prevent... No, it can't find planeswalkers. It can only find creatures or lands. That's nice. Um, I'm at 13, by the way. So, can I die? 3, 8, 10. No, the, the angels have vigilance. No way I die. Um, <clears throat> so, attack everybody. Block a kitten. Block a 2, 2. Take 12. If I crew the chariot. Um, they block the chariot. They take... 13 in the air, 15. Probably better to just attack the chariot, honestly. So they basically have to find a graveyard removal. And even then, I have more than enough creatures on the ground to kill them. To block these two, take eight. Now they still die to my creatures on the board. Yeah, okay, GG. Well, they could have blocked with a layer of the Hydra, but at that point, they died to the Pahelion coming back. Man, this deck is a machine. Whew! 306 oh, huh? Strong, strong. I like it. Guess what? We can also check if there's any interesting blood token generators in black out of Crimson Vow. That can easily make us discard. At best, something that we can return with can't stay away, gives us a blood token, and then, you know. Okay. I mean, there's Blood Fountain. Vampire's Kiss. Those are not very good. So we're playing against the Gunter. They're moving into 5. <clears throat> I think I'm just gonna stitch it up. There's Gluttonous Guest. A three mana one four. Hmm. <laughs> There's already a Pahelion. I guess then I just fought seize them. Deadly dispute, Mayhem Devil. 
Yeah, just take the deadly dispute, pass the turn. <laughs> ah, gosh. Okay. Devout the grief, fracture. Maybe I keep the root stein. With that bloom command seems very, very strong right now. Lanaway Elf. Um, the Spirits deck has a bunch of one toughness dudes, so you can kill those and get a land and mill yourself. Against all the food stuff, you can blow up Oven, Trail of Crumbs, Anvil while killing one of their creatures and then milling yourself. Widow Boom Command seems excellent right now. Maybe a reason why this deck is good. Yikes. I mean, Grizzly Salvage is my best card, I think. It can literally find me Grease Fang and Mill Pahedion at the same time, but this hand, five lands is just too many. Yeah, this is better. Mm, I think I'm gonna do this. Maybe not. Maybe just this. Hmm. Chariot. I think Cherry is just, yeah. Like, I like the Widow Boom Command just as a fair card in this matchup, so I want to keep it. <clears throat> I'm going to find a vehicle anyways with all my mill, so I don't think that's got to be a worry that I have to keep the Cherry in hand in case I find, like, Rafine's Informant or Fawzi's to discard it. I'm going to find a vehicle. I'm just going to salvage here. You want to salvage or stitch a supplier before. Um, that's very smart. My opponent is very smart. Not attacking here means I can't blow up the unlicensed hers. That's very smart. Means informant or land. Um, because if I try to blow up the hearse, they can make it a creature and then this fizzles because it doesn't destroy creatures. Damn. I guess I'll just gotta go with the fair plan of chariot here. So do I just take the land? It's in format. I have four cards left. <clears throat> hmm. Tough. What do I do? Do I just look for lands? They can exile the Temple Garden response. Then I might just not find any land at all. What's this? Fatal push, village rights, Jesus, okay. Packed hand, um... Alright, I guess uh, hers plus a creature 
it's problematic. All right. But maybe if you draw lands, I can cherry it and go the fair route. Maybe. Maybe. Going to attack. I guess I'll block. Don't want a fatal push, huh? So the hearse is gonna be a 6-6? Six, six. Maybe a... I don't know. I can Wither Bloom Command, Wither Bloom Command the Harvester by giving it minus one, minus one. Twice. But that doesn't... Still leaves them with the hearse. All right, I'll just, I mean, I just blow up the chariot. Uh, How do I win this game? Attack with the kitties, maybe? And hope they don't block the hearse. Just take four. And then we can maybe slowly... Yeah, okay. Get some damage in. We have drain two here, technically. I just salvage. I don't even know what I'm looking for, but... I guess I'm looking for a concealed courtyard. Um, And then we can mill three more and drain the opponent. I don't think milling does much to... I'm just gonna pass. I'm at 14. Yeah, I think this game is lost. I think with the opponent... The opponent has the tools to win this game. I don't. I don't really know how to get out of this. I have to draw a Fracture. But my Graveyard is already gone. So... My Grease Fangs, my Pahelions, everything's gone. So I just do the same again. And hope they take it again. <laughs> That's my route to victory. What can I say? They push. Fair. Take two. And now I blow up the oven, drain them for two. If I draw a chariot, huh? That might be, that might be it. Wow. Now they crew the hearse, eat my chariot, but they still take two, go to six, and I have four cats and a drain in hand. They're going to have a 10-10 hearse. I'm at 16. They go to six. And this game... I might win it.
They're not sacking these blood tokens either. Not looking for anything. If they just play your Gunter, they're gonna die. Nice. Wow. Can't believe it. Wow. Yeah, we have it. Is there any... I mean, they tapped out. Wow. I won this game. That's crazy. I just can't believe it. Yeah, I mean... I attacked with the kitties. They took the four. That was crucial. Then the turn later, they pushed me. Um... Wow. And then we, we double drained with Witterbloom command. Crazy. Yeah, you saw the hearse doesn't die because it fizzles, but the target opponent still gets drained for two. Damn. Wow, this deck is sick. We just keep on crushing. I think... Wow, I I mean, I, I'm going to work more on this deck, and I'm going to have my eyes on it. Um, that was very impressive. I'm not sure about the flex slots yet. I think those, the molds and the Rutsteins, they could maybe be something else, like another knife creature, for example. The Rafine Silencer is like the best one besides Informant. Um, because you can return it if you can't stay away and then discard this and have sort of a fair card that can also... I mean, it's pretty bad, but it can do some things. Maybe you can play two copies of that. Old Rutstein can make blood tokens as well. And if it would make blood tokens every time, I think I would play more of Rutstein. But because of treasure and an insect, it's just so unexciting. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of Old Rutstein. Right, like Old Rutstein, we have 12, 14... Uh, 18, 22, 26, 27. Okay, I mean, right now, almost half the deck makes a blood token. So, like, 45% of the time it makes a blood token. Yeah, I mean, that's good, but it's it's not not perfect. Um, And Rafine's Silence is just always straight up going to connive Bahidian or Cherry into the graveyard, even though it's it's a pretty medium-constructed card. In any case, this was Abs and Grease Fang, guys. I, I think this is maybe... I don't know. Like, you saw how it performed here. I'm going to work more on this, and especially with Explorer Anthology coming out in the future. But uh, for now, if you want to ladder up, um, this might be the deck to play. Chariot, Grease Fang, very straightforward, way, very combo-oriented. Grizzly Salvage, really, really strong card. Vida Boom Command, really, really strong in the stack. Um, yeah, go for it. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and see you next time. Bye-bye. Signing out.